Hey guys, so in this video, I wanted to talk about the dyno, and in particular, the dyno roller, or the drum. We have a 224 XLC, and over the years, this thing is 14 years old. Um, the knurling, you can see the knurling over here, and where it's been worn the most, because that's where most of the tires go, right? See on the inside? doesn't see much wear, but what happens is the knurling over time gets smooth, really smooth. And so cars that make a good amount of power and torque, especially at a lower power band, you will get wheel slip. And a lot of times the dyno operator won't even know about it. So there are ways to plot on the graph to see if you have slip. Obviously, if it's excessive, you can hear it and feel it, but there are times where it's minimal, but you're not getting a true power and torque reading. So what we do here is we get the car rolling and then we spray the tire. So we'll do that and demonstrate that. So with the car rolling, the, you know, the tires and the wheels, we'll get them to go at about eight miles an hour and we'll spray down to get them a little tacky. So you can see that what we're using is basically what they use at the drag strip. It's VHT, track bite. Stuff works really well. And this will help keep the tires from spinning. Alright, so here's a good example demonstrating how you can see, measure the wheel slip. Let's go to the screen. You'll see how this red pass, see how it's super, super straight and doesn't dip at all. You can tell that there is no wheel slip there. On the green pass, you can see how it starts off really good in about 3,900 RPM, it starts to waver down you can see that there's a good dip right there at 5,000. And all the way through, this tells you that there's wheel slip. Even though you can't hear it or feel it on the dyno, you're not getting the full potential of the figures. So really easy to do it if you are using the tack pickup, you'll have engine RPM on your X axis and on your Y, you can plot it against speed. You can see that there clearly. So here we did another pass, and what we did is we lowered tire pressure, and we sprayed the tires with track bite VHT. We didn't make any changes, and you can see that the red, the last one comparing it to the previous run, is a lot better, but it's still not perfect. So you can see that it's showing a little bit more power. And the line is, doesn't have as much of a dip. So we know we need to do a little bit more prepping. So even after spraying it down with VHT numerous times, you can still see we have some slip in there. On the last pass that we did, there was more obviously because we made more power, but uh, this thing is probably making closer to 520, 530 wheel, probably about 460, 470 foot pounds of torque if it didn't slip. So car has Mickey Thompson drag radials and those really, really, really do poorly on the steel surface drum, they just can't, can't hook up. Found that street tires, aggressive street tires work better than the drag radials on the dyno.